India's biodiversity is home to an incredible variety of flora and fauna. However, some species are more common to find than others. When it comes to primates, for example, while monkeys and langurs are often spotted in many parts of India, the only ape species inhabiting the country is the hulak gibbon, found in the forests of the northeastern parts of India. Being the only apes found in the Indian subcontinent, the conservation of these animals is vital. In studying the behavior and activity patterns of hulak gibbon, the gibbon which you see here, it's eastern hula gibbon, and which is the only lesser ape which is found in India. In Arunachal Pradesh, it is quite an experience when one walks towards the edge of a village in the mornings with the stereoscopic sound of the gibbons ringing in your ears from all directions. This is a village called Delo, and it's situated in the lower Dibang Valley district of Arunachal Pradesh, and it's mostly inhabited by a tribal community called Idus. The villagers coexist with the gibbons in an age-old sense of balance. Here you'll find at least uh, 18 families of hula gibbons. They do live in small patches of forest. They mainly depend on the vegetation, but they are omnivorous. They do feed on small uh, insects, small birds, and uh, the leaf matters and fruits like that. They do live in small families. A family consists of at least two to four members, mainly one male, one female, and infants, or maybe juveniles. Their relation is like very strong, and they do male-female relation till the end of their life. And in very rare cases, you'll find the replacement of one male by another male, maybe coming from another family on the same territory. Like all apes, Hulak gibbons are quite distinctive in the great development of their arms, which are more than double the length of their legs and are the key to their balance as they do not possess tails. Gibbons are known for their shrill calls. It is believed that the name Hulak comes from the Hindi word Uluk, meaning the loud call or howl of the gibbon. These calls are intended to maintain a pair's bond to attract mates and for courtship purposes. They also act as defensive warnings, aid in territorial reinforcement and help maintain social ties. Hulaks love hill forests, but now neither do the hill habitats remain pristine nor do the forests themselves. Here in Delo, this uh, village, it's, uh, I mean, a lot of people are coming from outside also, so the agriculture is also expanding. So now the area has got scattered, the patches of uh, trees you'll find here and there. So now they have to depend on these small patches of trees for their uh, living. The existing population is very small. Therefore, with poaching and habitat problems, the rapid depletion and extinction of the species is a grim reality. Increasing the existing protected area network and involving local communities in ecotourism may be a step towards the conservation of these apes. We are planning to start the capturing thing. We will be capturing them soon and we will be releasing into the forest. And then after that we will be monitoring for them to see whether they are surviving or not in that particular area. It is important to ensure the enforcement of these goals in order to prevent the disappearance of hulaks from the face of the earth. <laughs>